Hey everyone, Nicholas here from CryptoTech. And if you're wondering why I'm so unenergetic today, well, read the title of this video again. Yeah, so um, this video is supposed to be uh, how to overclock my graphics card because I plan to uh, redo my overclock settings on my graphics card. And, and I found out that my graphics card can't, can't even uh, be stable uh, running benchmarks well, in the stock out of the box setting. So how I found out is I wanted to do the overclock uh, video so I wanted to get baseline data of my graphics card. Baseline data meaning the stock performance of my graphics card. So I went into to give you a bit more information this is my uh, uh, exact graphics card model. I use MSI Afterburner to do my overclock settings, tweak my graphics card settings, and I use 3D Mark both Port Royal and Time Spy Extreme from 3D Mark to benchmark my graphics card for stability purposes and also get a performance uh, data. So I went into Afterburner and reset my overclock settings, uh, reset everything, put my uh, graphics card back to the stock out of the box settings so with the graphics card at completely stock out of the box configuration i ran both port royal and time spy extreme and both benchmarks uh crashed with the same behavior i'm going to show you a clip of uh, the crashing behavior so after bonus settings stock settings the only thing i changed is the fan curve i applied a fan curve that's the only thing so the rest is stock settings. Now, going to run 3, 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme. And I'll be back when it crashes. have a crash okay no signal 
so yeah as you can see how the how my pc crash is that uh when the crash happens the video signal just cuts off the di display signal just cuts off and the monitor stops receiving any uh display signal but the pc is still running somehow the fans are still turning my graphics card fan is still like turning at a hundred percent lights running a huge load but no no display signal it's just completely dead and the only way to recover from that kind of crash is to reset the system with the reset button or just restart the system complete completely so the original how to overclock my graphics card video is supposed to come out i plan it to supposed to come out today as of recording this video i'll put a date here um, but yeah I, I spent this whole week trying to troubleshoot and benchmark my graphics card to to see to drill down to the cause of it of the issue and yeah i cannot find the cause of the issue so and yeah i've tried everything stock settings and i've also tried raising the power limit in afterburner uh, which i'll show a screen cap here and leaving the core clock and memory clock at stock settings and the same uh, crashing behavior persisted i also tried uh, re reapplying my old overclock settings which of course same crashing issue i tried tweak tweaking the uh, core clock up and down and memory clock up and down separately so i changed one variable at a time so to to drill down what the issue is no matter what i do the same crashing behavior persisted so this whole week of testing uh i've ran a lot of port royal and time spy extreme i've only gotten uh, time spy extreme and port royal both of these benchmark to uh, go through the entire time without crashing once that was that was the two outliers after after the completed run i tried to run the same benchmark again the same crashing behavior uh, occurs so that tells me something is wrong with my graphics card so yeah so where does that bring me i've pretty much come to the conclusion that uh i cannot drill down to uh find out what is the cost of, of the issue without taking out the graphics card and disassembling it physically to look at the pcb pcb board of the graphics card itself to look at uh if there's anything wrong physically on the pcb itself which of course i cannot do because if i do that this is my only pc and my only graphics card if i do that i take down my my uh pc and i need my pc up and, up and running uh whenever i need it to because i i need it to uh edit my videos and whatnot surprisingly it is stable for my video editing and thumbnail video uh photo editing workload because this type of workload hits the graphics card differently compared to a gaming workload so which leads me to a confession that i have to make is that i have been consider considering a complete pc upgrade which is a new pc build from scratch and considering handing down this exist existing pc to one of my family members but uh, i am aware that my current system the 5800x cpu and 3070 ti gpu combo with a ram capacity of 32 gigabytes it is very much still a very capable system in late 2024 if you're watching on the if you're watching from the future by the way uh late 2024 is when this is happening um yeah this pc is pretty much still rock solid for what i need it to do uh, 4k video editing 4k video production and some gaming so yeah the idea of me building a new pc from scratch and upgrading and replacing this uh, system is uh, put on hold as for those who know me personally you know that uh, building a new pc from scratch right now for me is an extremely huge step for me to take with maybe a uh, too huge of a step for me to take right now but i really did not expect to get uh, hit with this kind of issue i'm now so yeah my hands are tight right now i don't know what to do really man i'm tired i'm now stuck with a gaming pc that cannot run demanding games without uh crashing 
uh, yeah, this is really pushing me to reconsider the full PC upgrade, the new PC build, which yeah, cause I don't want to disassemble my graphics card uh, with, without a spare PC. So yeah, the situation is now I need to uh, disassemble my graphics card to diagnose uh, what the issue, what the cause of the issue of the crash is, but I cannot d disassemble my graphics card without uh, taking down my PC, which I need it to be able to uh, be up and running whenever I need it to, because for my workload purposes. And as I already said, building a whole new PC from scratch for me right now is a bit of a stretch. And even though I really do want to, it is a want. I did not expect to get hit with this kind of issue. So uh, I don't know where to do from here. Matakun. Hey, Future Nicholas here. And yeah, I freaking jinxed myself. So without boring you with the details, I'll just show you an overview of what's going on. So this is Da Vinci, da Vinci Resolve Studio. Uh, the studio version which is a paid uh, version of the software, the video editing software that, that I use to edit uh, all of the videos that you see on this channel and yeah, it started to, to crash with my video editing program. Um, as you can see, I have hardware in 464 monitoring the temperatures of the GPU. Uh, over here, the, you can see the top, the normal GPU temperature and the GPU hotspot temperature. I'm mainly looking at the hotspot temperature to see if there's anything abnormal on the hotspot temperature that is causing the crash. So, so as you can see the pop-up here, optimized DaVinci uh, neural engines. That is the AI part of the video edi editing software. And every time uh, Resolve Studio has an update, after installing the update, uh, this pops up so that, uh, so that it can uh, recalibrate uh, the engine to, to the graphics card. Every time I update the software, it needs to recalibrate. So I need to optimize DaVinci Neural Engine. And this is where it runs the GPU. And we'll just wait for a crash because every time I have I tried this after an update, it crashes on me with the same behavior. Hotspot is at 9. Max, yeah. Look at the max at, of the hotspot, 101 degrees Celsius. A few moments later. Oh, we did it. I'll be back. So even though that run was successful with uh, the, the graphics card power limit set, everything set to stock, I was able to uh, reproduce the same issue trying to uh, run through that process in uh, Resolve Studio uh, multiple times this, uh, this day. And uh, every time I did not pay attention to the uh, temp limit, uh, every time it crashed, uh, with the same behavior. I was not able to show because uh, that passed just now and I cannot repeat, repeat the process uh, once it is cal calibrated. So yeah, fortunately uh, it passed just now so I can con continue to edit videos. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, this goes to show that uh, the instability is starting to creep up into my uh, video editing workflow, which is scary. So with that in mind, it seems like uh, disassembling my graphics card further is the only way to further diagnose the issue, which regardless of what, regardless of whether I build the new PC or not. So, I really hate this situation, man. My hands are tied. So, you know, I don't know what to say anymore. Just back to the, back to the main video. So yeah, this is the way I need you guys to uh, come in and help me for this one. Uh, if you have faced similar situations, similar crashing situations, and you know the solution, or you just know the cause of the issue is, please comment down in the comment section down below. Uh, what steps 
can I take uh, next without disassembling the graphics card to further diagnose my issue? So, yeah, please help me on this one. Minasa, hesitate, take it aside. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. What should I do next? I don't know. Because, yeah, at the current moment, I don't really have anything to uh, add to the current situation. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, I con I'll continue to bring you updates if I find anything or if you guys have uh, any uh, viable solution or next steps that I, that I can take. If there's any updates on this situation, I'll, I'll make a video about it and update you guys on it as well. So yeah, that's really pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video even though this video is uh, all over the place. I apologize for that. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video or if you just enjoyed watching me suffer through this kind of situation, leave a like and subscribe to CryptoTech for more tech content and troubleshooting content like this in the future. I'll see you in the next one. This is Nicholas signing out. Go shichou arigatou gozaimashita. Dewa, tsugi no doga de mata aimashou. Jane. Ja